Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the mid-monthly love reading, mid-May through mid-June 2021. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. All right, so I'm gonna pull three cards from this deck. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. Love, self-love, romance, and relationships. And keep in mind, Cancer, we have eclipse season coming up in the sign of Sagittarius, full moon eclipse, and then Gemini, new moon eclipse. So this heralds a time of great change, doors closing, doors opening, sudden shifts. All right, so we have Leo energy. All right, Leo. So some of you who have some Leo energy around you or in your chart, Leo represents passion, self-expression, Interesting. We have friend and then we have Pisces. So, all right, could be someone in a circle of friends. We have Pisces energy, more water. All right, so let's see where this takes us. Very interesting because at the bottom we do have reunion. So we'll see. Mercury has gone retrograde or is going retrograde at the end of May. So this is going to bring a lot back from the past. Anything that maybe has not been um, cleared up, anything that needs to be. So I'm seeing the Six of Cups come up a lot for signs. All right, so I'm gonna pull one for the situation and three to find out what is going on around this situation. So what is the guiding energy for Cancer? All right, we have Page of Swords, Five of Cups. So, Page of Swords, there could be some confusion. I'm seeing this with Pisces. This card's come up a couple times, and Pisces is ruled by Neptune. So, it can be some confusion, things that are kind of hidden. It is the house of intuition, self-undoing. Page of Swords could be someone who is not communicating, but they are spying. So, it could be a need to work out communication issues. Someone may not be being upfront. We'll see where this goes because the Page of Swords could go either way. But with the Five of Cups, I'm seeing a lack of. Or it's like there's a lot of um, thinking and a lot of wanting, but yet not taking the action. So Five of Cups can feel like regrets surrounding communication. All right, let's pull three for this situation. So we have Two of Pentacles. Two more, please, for Cancer. So yeah, things could have been really up and down, out of balance, someone could have a lot on their plates, but it is a need to definitely prioritize what's most important at this time. All right, so we have, yeah, see now the seven of swords, five of swords, okay. So five of swords, someone emotionally, mentally conflicted, not dealing with feelings, emotions, not communicating, or it's more of like that spying energy, watching Seven of Swords along with this Pisces energy. Jupiter has gone into Pisces and I am very two-sided about this because I can see where it can be really positive, but I can also see where it can bring out certain confusion and some people being more deceptive but i also think it will be good to bring some of that to light and i am seeing that as well because we have justice we have two of cups and jupiter does represent law right so balance karmic balance all right so seven of swords someone could have been avoiding conversation or avoiding dealing with things maybe working too much or putting work ahead of everything else. Five of Swords, emotional conflict. Mental conflict with the Five of Swords, Five of Cups, emotional. All right, so we have this Two of Cups and we have Justice. So everything is being worked out the way that it needs to. Justice is on your side. Justice is also representative of doing what is best, integrity, being honest. All right, so Two of Cups, let's definitely take a look and see what is going on here. 
Let's clarify this Page of Swords. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. So someone, slow mover, um, walls are up. Definitely with that Seven of Wands energy. Definitely getting the sense of like walls are up. There could be arguments or conflict here. Very slow moving energy with that Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they're a slow mover because there's someone that's on the defense. All right, um, for some of you. So let's also take a look at the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Someone here definitely has some walls up. Seven of Swords energy. All right, yeah, Nine of Swords. So someone's letting fear take the lead. It's like someone who's overthinking, someone who is thinking the worst. This is why there's the Seven of Swords tactics here. I feel like though, let's take a look at justice because I do feel like this situation is going to be worked out. Let's clarify that justice energy. It's going to be balanced and it's going to be worked out. Yeah, look at this, Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords is about clearing up communication, clearing up the confusion, the deception. And it doesn't necessarily mean deception like somebody's cheating, but it's deception like someone's avoiding. All right, avoiding dealing with. So let's take a look at the Two of Cups and then I'm gonna move on to some Oracle cards. But with Justice, okay, so we have Four of Cups and let's clarify one more. Yeah, all right, so someone here, this Hanged Man energy, there has been delays, all right? Delays because someone here has not been ready. But I feel like with that Ace of Swords, there's a huge need to clear up communication issues. I feel like communication is coming in. But this Four of Cups, someone wasn't ready because they had a lot of inner work to do. A lot of defense mechanisms up. Um, lots of confusion. So, all right, let's move on to some Oracle cards. We'll get a clearer picture. I'm going to pull one from the Romance Angels. But I do feel that there is this change happening. There is going to be some clearing up of matters. All right, look at this. Excuse me. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Clear up matters for some of you. For some of you, yeah, this could be about releasing your ex. Let's pull one more. There's a healing process here. Somebody... Let your friends help you. Yeah, there, there is a clearing of matters here. I feel like someone could have been really stuck on somebody. All right, somebody else, definitely not open to like this strong relationship at this time or not open in general. There is a lot of conflict surrounding this. So let your friends help you. Listen to the advice. Releasing your ex releasing rituals, past life relationship. Let's pull one from Monology. All right, so I'm gonna take this one. Look at this. I'm gonna take these all. These are all meant for you. All right, so we have, what do you need to release waning moon, right? We have that releasing energy. Could be stuck on somebody. Balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. So that Pisces energy is definitely playing a role here. Time for healing. Bring love into the situation. Adjustments are required. The answers you need are coming. Justice and Ace of Swords. So the answers you need are coming. All right. There has been a lot of conflict with this. Let's pull three. Wow. Three came out. Mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, deluding, gaslighting. Butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Wow. Yeah, this is really on point, Cancer. For some of you, 
there is this mass aspect someone is not being the, their true selves they're wearing a mask they're afraid of getting hurt the guard is up this relationship hasn't been working out for some this relationship is very karmic it's about healing the inner child and it's about growth in preparing for a union now it doesn't need to be with this person because for some of you this is like definitely not healthy or okay um so i do feel like with that butterfly card there's personal evolving that is taking place from this situation very very powerful i hope that you guys have a good month ahead if you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on facebook or instagram all that information is posted in the description box below take care